Hello, everybody. Uh, for this little seminar, I don't know, please raise your hands if you haven't done any sound design for a film yet. Okay, I'll just see all the others. Very good, because this is uh, very basic what I'm talking today. I'm not going into deep uh, sound design hard facts like 5.1 mixing, everything. We are just making a basic stereo thing here. Let's have a look at this little movie. His foot. Mm -hmm. So and if you don't see his foot, then oh, all right. okay, okay. <laughs> then it would be very. When when I start cutting foley's or in this this case footsteps, mm -hmm. I just uh, I, I know that I need some footsteps before the character appears. But to uh, have a look, is it really in time? I just take the first one. So I'm going now into strap mode, mm -hmm. and here, this is where he appears. Yeah. And this footstep here comes a little bit early. Too early. So you just take everything and nudge it. It's easier to record uh, a newspaper over and over again yeah. for in the next project or something else. You, you yeah, don't know. Well, I was actually mm. asking for uh, more complex moments than the recording a newspaper mm. sound. Uh, would if we, we have, would we happen to use them uh, often enough to keep it in our sound bank? Because uh, if you start uh, loading too many examples of voices in your sound bank then uh, it will be uh, uh, it's too much it this is the point because uh, every in every movie the, the the foley artists so to say he's not running or the, the, the footsteps he's doing over and over again so he doesn't record his footsteps into a library yeah. so that he can use them on more movies 